For years, you've probably noticed you pick things up faster than most people around you, while others struggle with concepts you grasp immediately. While they accept things at face value, you're already three steps ahead. It's not arrogance. It's just how your brain works. People with extremely high IQs don't operate like everyone else. They have distinct psychological patterns that most people never develop. And if you've always known you think differently than the people around you, these seven patterns will confirm exactly why. Pattern 1. They see invisible connections everywhere. Most people look at separate events and see nothing. A failed relationship, a missed opportunity, a random conversation, all isolated. But high IQ individuals? Their brain never stops scanning for patterns. They see the thread connecting everything. Three different people mention the same problem this week. They're already thinking about the solution. They watch behavior patterns repeat and predict what happens next. It's not magic. Their brain is processing connections most people miss completely. And once you start seeing patterns everywhere, you can't unsee them. Even when you want to relax, your brain keeps working, keeps connecting dots. People call them paranoid or obsessive. They're not. They're just experiencing reality through a filter most never develop. They see cause and effect chains nobody else notices. That's just how their mind works. Pattern 2. They have a relentless need to understand why. You tell them something works a certain way, they ask why. You explain it, they ask why that explanation works. This isn't stubbornness. This is their brain-building mental models. Understanding systems underneath the surface. While everyone else accepts surface-level answers, high IQ people dismantle the entire machine to see how it operates. The result? Critical thinking that never weakens. It's relentless and brilliant. The trade-off? They're terrible at following rules that don't make sense. Blind obedience feels like intellectual prison. They need to understand the logic or they'll question everything. Teachers hate it. Managers find it challenging. But people looking for real innovation? They recognize exactly what this drive produces. These aren't people trying to be difficult. They're people who refuse to accept explanations that don't hold up. Pattern three. They think several steps ahead in everything. A normal brain considers immediate consequences. A high IQ brain is already five, ten moves ahead. Playing chess against life itself. You make a decision, they've already mapped every outcome, every failure point, every domino that might fall. This isn't anxiety, it's strategic depth. They're running mental simulations constantly. By the time they act, they've already lived through a hundred versions of the future. Planned around failures thought through backup plans, considered contingencies nobody else sees coming. That's why they stay calm during big decisions. Everyone else panics about what might go wrong. They already accounted for it, already prepared. The downside, their brain generates endless scenarios. What looks like indecision is actually their mind running too many calculations at once, processing information others don't even register. Pattern four, they need alone time to function, not because they're antisocial, because they require silence to think clearly. Their brain constantly processes information, runs analysis, makes connections. That mental activity needs space to organize itself. Without enough alone time, they get frustrated, irritable, unfocused. Solitude isn't optional, it's essential. A crowded party where everyone talks at once. Mental chaos. Small talk, a waste of processing power. They need deep conversation or silence. Nothing in between works. This isn't about rejecting people. It's about protecting their cognitive space. When they do engage, they go deep immediately. They want to understand how you think, what drives you, what you actually believe. Shallow conversation feels pointless. Some people take this personally. They shouldn't. High IQ people just operate with different requirements for meaningful interaction. Pattern five. They constantly find problems to solve even when nobody asked. They look at broken processes and immediately think about solutions. Inefficiency bothers them, not in an annoying way, in a this puzzle needs solving way. They create systems nobody requested, optimize workflows everyone else accepted as normal, invent shortcuts for processes people didn't know were inefficient. For them, problem solving is how their brain plays. It's not about recognition. It's about the solve itself, the friction. They get frustrated when others don't see the obvious solution. What's crystal clear to them is invisible to everyone else. They can't understand why people accept broken systems, why others aren't driven to fix things. This makes them seem intense. 
They're just operating with a brain that experiences inefficiency like physical discomfort, a constant itch demanding to be scratched. Pattern six, they're brutally honest with themselves. When something goes wrong, they don't blame circumstances or other people. They do a complete analysis, identify exactly what they did wrong, what they could have done differently where their thinking failed. Most people lie to themselves to feel better. High IQ people don't. You can't fix what you refuse to see. This self-awareness is relentless. They maintain high standards because mediocrity feels like settling when you know what you're capable of. But this means their internal critic runs constantly. They don't need outside criticism. They're already harder on themselves than anyone else could be. They know their weaknesses intimately, face them directly. And while this drives constant improvement, it also creates an intensity that makes others uncomfortable. They're analysing everything, including themselves. Pattern 7. They manage energy, not time. While other people schedule by the hour, high IQ people schedule by mental energy and focus. They know exactly when their brain is sharpest. Morning, late night, whenever. They know when they're capable of deep, complex work and when they're only good for routine tasks. And they protect those peak hours like they're sacred because they understand something most people never figure out. Time is unlimited. Mental energy isn't. You can't create more hours, but you can waste every bit of focus you have if you're not strategic. So they batch certain work together, protect their deepest thinking for when their brain is strongest. Use low energy hours for simple tasks. It's not laziness, it's optimization. Other people spend their lives wondering why they can't maintain productivity. High IQ people already figured it out. It's not about working harder. It's about working when your brain is actually capable of its best work. But here's what nobody talks about with these patterns. They come with a cost most people don't see. When you think this way, you can't just turn it off. You can't just blend in and accept things the way everyone else does. You're constantly aware of gaps in logic, inefficiencies in systems, patterns other people miss, and that awareness, it isolates you. Not because you want to be isolated, but because most conversations feel shallow. Most problems people stress about seem obvious to solve. Most drama people engage in feels completely avoidable. You're not trying to be superior. You're just operating with a different baseline of what makes sense. And the hardest part, explaining this to someone who doesn't think this way is nearly impossible. They don't understand why you need hours alone just to process your thoughts. They don't get why you can't just accept the answer without understanding the system behind it. They think you're overcomplicating things. You know you're just seeing what's actually there. This is why high IQ people often feel misunderstood, not because they're special, but because their cognitive reality is genuinely different. They're playing a different game with different rules, and most people don't even realise the game exists. Here's another thing that separates them. They don't need external validation the way most people do, not because they're confident, but because they've learned to trust their own analysis over popular opinion. When everyone says something works one way, and they see it works another way, they trust what they see not what they're told. This makes them seem stubborn, difficult, unwilling to listen. But they're not refusing to listen. They're refusing to accept information that doesn't match reality. And once you develop that filter, once you learn to trust your own perception over groupthink, you can't go back. So here's what this comes down to. If you recognise several of these patterns, you're not operating the same way most people operate. You might not have credentials or awards, you might not even think of yourself as particularly intelligent, but these patterns show up in how you move through the world. The real question isn't how smart you are, it's whether you're actually using the mind you have. Are you protecting your focus, leveraging your pattern recognition, surrounding yourself with people who understand why you need what you need? Those are what actually matter. Most people never figured this out, you already have.